And now we have the second trial. And I'm going to quit in just a minute here, but I wanted to touch on that. I think all of us realize that our, our jury decisions are very important in this country. In the Constitution, it says that you cannot be brought to trial again for the same thing. That's called double jeopardy. But the right decision, or let's say the decision that was made by the first jury didn't make everybody happy. So certain individuals felt there should be another trial. So even though they say, and I think John expressed it so well, last night about there being uh, two governments, the state government and the uh, the federal government and they've tried him in the state government, tried these guys in the state government and they're now going to try them try in the federal government. That sounds good but it's still double jeopardy when you're tried for the same thing and it's unconstitutional. Uh, now they changed the words and he said that he was, they were trialed, tried, first of all, on uh, assault charges, assault with a deadly weapon with the intent to do great bodily harm, and they were found not guilty. Now, in our society, a jury decision should be a final decision. Although I personally feel and know in my heart some of these officers were guilty of assault and battery on Rodney King and should be punished, if the jury found them not guilty, we cannot say, well, these particular people we're going to try again until we get the verdict we want. And so by switching over to the federal case and saying, okay, we're going to try them on civil rights violations, this is not right. Because inherent in the charges was another assault charge. They were tried again for assault. And they were tried in the first case for assault. And even though you give it a different title, title and say it's a civil rights violation, were guilty and two were not guilty. 